Welcome to the introduction to C++ series. In this series, you're going to learn the fundamentals of programming in C++. Now, before we jump into and do our first C++ program, let's first learn what C++ is. So what is C++? C++ is a general purpose programming language. That's an extension of C. It's actually uh, C++. It's an one increment up. It's C with classes is another way that people have talked about it. Um, general purpose language means that it's not bounded to a specific domain. Um, some other general purpose programming languages are C, what C++ is based on, Java, and Python, and there's a lot more out there. So why learn C++? C++ is one of the top programming languages. It's ranked number three, number four on the TOBE ranking, and um, Java has been number one, and C has been number two, and they flip-flop between the two. It's a very good language. It's also an object-oriented programming language, which is important, helps with our structure, and it's portable, and can be developed, um, it can be used to develop applications for multiple platforms. So getting started, what are we going to do in order to start programming? with C++, what do we need? First, we need a C++ IDE. Now you could get away with not using an IDE. You could use something like Notepad or Notepad++, but you know, this isn't the 90s anymore. We got IDEs, let's use one. In our tutorials, I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code, but you can use whatever you like. If you have one that you like already, like uh, C, C Lion or Code Blocks, or Eclipse. Um, I'm just going to be using Visual Studio Code. And then you need a C++ compiler. So on Linux, you can use GCC on Linux. For our Windows operating system, you can use GCC via Mingw. Um, and then for your Mac OX, OS, you can use Clang for Xcode. So download your C++ compiler and download Visual Studio Code. So I've opened up Visual Studio Code and I'm going to open up in a new folder and I have a folder called Introduction to C++ and that's where all my code is going to go and it's going to go up onto my GitHub repo every time I finish one of these tutorials. So I'm going to open the folder where Introduction to C++ is and select this folder. Here is our folder where we're going to be doing all of our code for introduction to C++. First thing you're going to do that I already have installed is you're going to install the extensions for C++. So you're going to go down to extensions. And you're going to type in C++ and you are going to install C, C++ from Microsoft. So in my case, I already have this installed. So you're going to choose install. So after we've installed this extension, let's make sure that our C++ compiler is set up properly. So we go to your terminal, and this is a Windows machine, and I have MingW uh, set up on my machine, so that I'm going to check the version for me. is G++ dash dash version. If you are on a Linux machine, you would do GCC dash V, and if it's not installed, do all the commands to install it and if you were on a mac os you would do clank and dash dash version and if it doesn't recognize it that means you didn't install it properly so one more step on a windows machine if you installed mean gw and you do g plus plus version and it says it doesn't recognize it as a command well you haven't registered it to your path so we can go to our paths, edit system environment variables, go to our environment variables, and I have tons of things in my path. So in my case, mine's hidden right down here. So make sure that you have it in your path. If it's not there, you just click new and then browse to where it has been installed. In my case, it was installed on my F drive right there. So hit OK. And let's start our first program. So as is tradition with our people, we're going to write our first C++ program and we're going to write Hello World. So let's close out of this. Go up to our Explorer and I'm going to zoom in for you guys. 
So right up here, we're going to click and make a new file. So new file, we're going to call this hello world.c++. So you can see there's a little C++ icon. So let's start writing our first hello world program. First thing we're going to do is include a library. So we're going to include iostream. This is a header file library that lets us work with inputs and outputs. In this case, we need to print out hello world. So we're going to use this to print out the text hello world. Then we are going to use using namespace std. And this means that we can use names and objects and variables that are from the standard library. And we end this with a semicolon. We are now going to write our main function. In C++, the main function returns an integer. So this is a return type int. Our function is called main. And then the code we're going to place it inside a curly bracket. We're going to write one line, and that's C out. And this is our insertion operator that tells us that we're going to output text, and we're going to output hello world. And now our main function expects us to return an integer, so we write return zero. This ends our main function. And finally, although when we wrote our curly bracket, it automatically put it here, don't forget your curly bracket. That actually ends the entire main function. So let's save our file. See this little dot here is saying that we haven't saved it yet. So we're going to hit Control S to save. And then we are going to compile our code. So let's write G++ dash O, meaning this is the out, our out exe is going to be called hello world and then we are compiling hello world c++ there is hello world.exe let's execute it here dot slash hello world there we go it says hello world congratulations you have written your first c++ program are programming this all inside Visual Studio Code and therefore you can actually use some features within Visual Studio Code so that you do not have to write these command lines. So first we go to our main menu and we click terminal. We choose config de configure default build task. And we're going to choose the C, C++, um, G++ build active file. And now this has created a task.json. And I'm going to close our terminal so we don't have to see it. So I'm going to just kill it. So this is our new task.json that has been created for us. So our command specifies the program that's going to be running it. In this case, it's pointing to my g++exe under my f mean gw because it's been registered correctly to the path. So this will point to where you've registered your path. There are arguments that can be passed in. So in this case, um, the arguments specify the command line arguments that will be passed to our G++ program. So in the case of our hello world, what we created, we did our hello world.c++ is going to take in that file and then it's going to create the same name with exe. So it creates hello world.exe, just like we did with our uh, command line arguments. So let's go back to our hello world.cpp and let's remove our hello world.exe. And let's now build hello world using our task. So we can click terminal, run build task, and you will see hello world.exe got created. And now we can run hello world just like we did before dot slash hello world. So grab here, hello world. So now you've learned how to write your first C++ file, you know how to build it by doing the command line, and you also know how to build it using Visual Studio Code.